let's talk about, as we jump all over the damn place, um, your sudden realization as you sort of crafted um, Jeff a certain way. At some point during the run, uh, and people are writing to you that um, Abed is, uh, he's got Asperger's, uh, clearly. You find yourself uh, somehow taking an Asperger's test on, on the interwebs and finding out that maybe you're, you're closer to Abed than Jeff. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. A bad way of putting it would be that I, because I, I, it's such a hip, hip illness. Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to diagnose myself with Asperger's. That's a terrible thing to it's do. It's the new autism. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's the new uh, gay. It's the new black. It's, uh, you know, yeah, hey, I got Asperger's. I think that's a very accurate way of saying it, is that what, what happened was the character of Abed uh, was being re well responded to by the uh, kind of, uh, call it the uh, spectrum community. I don't sure. Know, the, uh, the, the, I was, the audience. I was, I, was, I, was, I was curious about it and I was uh, sort of Googling around and I would, I would find these forums and chat rooms and things where people with uh, uh, the so-called affliction um, were uh, really responding to this character. And I say so-called affliction because I think one of the most interesting things about it is that w uh, with, with spectrum disorders is that, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of, uh, of people out there who don't consider it an affliction because the definition of an affliction should, should be that it somehow inhibits you. Uh, whereas actually the, the inhibition is on the part of other people and that uh, that's why the, 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 these, are, these are people who they're different and they, they, they're, they're, they, they, they have a, a what's called a disorder by, a, by a, you know, a mob of doctors who are basing their standard of perfection on a, you know, a bell curve. And they're in the pockets of the uh, pharmaceuticals anyways. Sure. Fuck those guys. Yeah. I mean, a bit. let's get real. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the, um, the, so I was like, okay, these are cool people. Uh, these are my kind of people because they're nerdy and they're, they, they, they traditionally, they love them some Spock and some R2-D2 and some, uh, uh, Mork from Orc and any, any, any character that you come up with that has one foot in and one foot out. Um, and it's, and that, and that is weird and, and, and people are trying to tell them, you need to be more like normal people and they're, and they're like, I, I wish I could, but I can't. Uh, Data from Star Trek, um, uh, uh, The Next Generation, they, they uh, they what I what I noticed is that they they really liked this this Abed character, and uh, and they considered him a, a refreshing portrayal of someone with their so-called disorder because he um, one of the most important things about him to them was that he wasn't he didn't have Pinocchio syndrome he didn't wish you know he he wasn't like I I really well if only I could have an emotion chip and uh, and, and be like all the uh, normal boys and girls he was he was what he was and he was okay with it and it was up to other people to 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 figure out how to deal with him and they they really liked that a lot i i, I something about it just rang with me and i was like i, I don't want to let these people down ever they 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 don't get a lot of uh of uh, role models on, on TV, and I, I know how important that is. But what happened is, uh, alongside of that, the, the interesting personal thing that happened, I think, is that, um, uh, yeah, I didn't want to disappoint these Aspies who mm. were responding so well to this character, so I, I just, just as a, I didn't, also didn't want to diagnose him on camera. I, I don't, I mean, it's incredibly difficult to diagnose uh, adult Asperger's. It's a, it, it, it's a, it's not, it, it can take forever, it can take a decade, because you can recognize it in children, but what happens is, this is a disorder that, that it's a functional thing, like, like those people aren't handicapped, they're, they're just different, and they learn to blend. Uh, they, they the, the same way you, fit, you, you if you, there's something wrong with your leg and you kind of like, you start walking differently, like, they, they just become like these weird like, like, like personalities that cope in all these different ways. You can't tell one from it. There's no similarity among Adapt, them. Adapt, similarity. They, they're, they're just, you know, it's, and, and so it becomes like this thing where it's like, well, is it, a, is it a disorder at all? Or is it just, are we just diagnosing being weird, uh, being exceptional? Um, a, lot of, a lot of that happens, you know, they, they talk about that in their communities on the internet. And I, as I said, I just, I just didn't want to do wrong by these people. 
And uh, so I, I, I researched this thing just to make sure I never did something like have Abed say he loves pickles. And then it's like everybody knows that nobody with any form of mild autism or any spectrum disorder, like, hey, you can't stand any briny food or cucumber-based product. I, I, now he blew it. I, have, I, don't know. I just I, I, that, that was the impulse. So it's like just make sure you, you got this right. You got a handle on what this is. And so I, I researched it, and uh, and then I, and then it just started sounding awful familiar. <laughs> but I do think that I mean we've all done this before. If you Google. Uh, bump on my neck, cancer. Right. You know, because you got a bump on your neck, you're going to find out the bump on your neck is cancer, yeah. uh, whether it is or isn't. Um, the internet is real good for that. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I know I'm not normal, but I, 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 I think the important thing is that I, like as you put it, I think is the best way to put it. I started to discover that I had a lot more in common with this uh, with Abed than I did with Jeff. Jeff was a Jeff was originally me. Uh, the idea that the sexy version of me there's the idea that as I said before like oh if I talk long enough I can make anything right or wrong I have this like Hulk mouth that I just activate and I just like mesmerize people and I have to learn how to even though that makes me not believe in God or not believe in right or wrong and not believe in love I'm going to learn all these things because I'm with these knuckleheads um, and that as it's you can see the transition happening in the Chicken Fingers episode um, in the first season, uh, it's a conversation between Jeff and Abed in the kitchen uh, at the end of the episode. And uh, they're uh, talking and they make a deal that uh, Jeff characterizes as, well, let's be like Knight Rider. You know, I'll, uh, you know, like meaning that Abed can be the car and he can be the yeah. David Hasselhoff. And it's like, let's help each other. Like you be, you be, you be smart and weird, and I'll be, I'll be human. Like you help me, like point me in the right direction, and I'll, I'll, I'll do the talking. Uh, and Abed misinterprets it, and it's, 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 it's a real hoot. But it, it's in that moment, in that conversation, that the the transition happens. Right. Um, it's a because uh, I'm not, I don't walk away from that scene. Identifying with the with the sexy Irish guy anymore. It's I, I am now the weird Indian kid uh, uh, after that episode. So and then second season started and I was kind of like him the whole time. Um, but then, Abed <laughs> sort of represented a lot of what you were describing in terms of where you were at when you met Rob, what what, what your interests were, um, that part of you that that has evolved. And he represented the Trojan horse of getting you inside the network sitcom world. Uh, that part of this story is absolutely fan fucking tastic. <laughs> uh, no, truly, it is. Uh, it allowed you to thrive creatively, and also to sort of transition away from the fantasy of being Han Solo to celebrating being R two D two. No, no, no. But I mean, being being um, the Far more uh, complex, right. and uh, and also, by the way, Abed's crazy charming in his way. Well, of course, yeah. yeah. Everybody wants to, yeah. I mean, he he doesn't have self esteem issues. Like that's the interesting thing about him is that he likes being the way he is. He's just frustrated uh, with uh, his alienation. He just he he loves people. Every this is the thing that I think is the the most important profound thing and please somebody tweet in or call or correct me if I'm wrong I, but but out of all there there are there are disorders afflictions whatever you call them head injuries that can cause people to like eating poop there are there are people who sleep with corpses there are people who get turned on by women stepping on their face there are people who want to fuck teddy bears there are people who eat dirt there are people who murder children there is no such thing there's no twisting of the mind possible that has ever resulted in any person wanting to be alone they're, they're liking solitude. You take uh, uh, hardcore race, uh, uh, rapists, uh, serial killers, uh, 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 the, 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 the uh, homicidal maniacs, and you put them in solitary confinement, and they and they immediately start losing their mind. They they, they, they beg and cry to be to, to be put around other people. They'll rape and kill them, but they want the company. Uh, that pe we are a social mammal, like like to, to take into such extremes that there's that there's no 
nothing like it on Earth. It's like you can kind of see similarities in chimps and things, but even they don't get along quite as well. <laughs> they don't have this sort of natural instinct for um, uh, cooperation, uh, compassion. Yeah. The thi things that we think are fake conceits, they're genetic, like they're in us. Uh, we, we, we are different because we want each other to succeed and we, we, we don't do it all the time, but we, we are known to sacrifice ourselves for each other. And it's, it's, um, it's amazing. So, 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 so you take a character like Abed and you go, you know what's really cool about this is that he's not just some dick like, like every single character on that show. They're, the one thing they have in common is that they, they'd rather be with each other than, than be alone. And Abed is, uh, his condition is, he's just afraid. Kids that grow up with Asperger's, they, they're, they're pr the, th the, the most common link we can find with them is frustration. The, the, the an alien, fear of alienation, the, the like fear of being outcast, because we all feel that. They grow up with it. They are, they, they, their personalities are formed in this crucible of constantly, they just have every day, five times a day, somebody points at them and says, what are you doing? And they find out that their pants are around their ankles and you're not supposed to do that when you pee. You're supposed to, have to only pull them down enough to, to, to put your wiener out. It's some social custom that they didn't pick up on or understand and they, they were the last person to realize that they've been doing it wrong the whole time. And it's, they feel humiliation, they feel terror. They fit because there's nothing worse you can do to a human being than threaten them with out, uh, uh, kicking them out. Um, actually, well, the question of uh, what are you doing? Uh, you're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, those sort of messages uh, have been sent by family members, either patriarch or matriarch or, or siblings, as a way to um, either judge or compete. So I think there's this inherent social disorder that is in all of us because of that upbringing of someone along the way of, of alleged authoritative plateaus. Well, we all saying, had what to, the fuck are you doing? Yeah, we all had to not step in traffic and not touch hot stoves. We all have to learn that an, you can't call a door an elephant. Otherwise, people won't know what the fuck you're talking about. So we, we, we often characterize being told what to do as a bad thing. But, Wait, and, 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 and so, but we, we want our parents to approve of us, and they're the agents of, like, there are all of us, Asperger's or not, we all experience that primal, like, humiliation of somebody going, what the fuck, man? What but are you not doing? just doing something incorrectly you know what I mean mm. I think there's something now inherent not now but always inherent in the social environment where somewhere along the way someone in your life uh, or several people either competitiveness at school right. now it's this huge bully movement or, or acknowledgement right. of a, a forever lasting bully movement. someone in a position of alleged power or self-imposed power saying you're an idiot. Yeah. Usually a mob. If it's if it's an individual person, it's just somebody who's been vested with the authority of the mob. Right. You know, it's a popular kid or a a, a bully that, that that everyone fears. So right. they have the backing. How of many the, people you know though that that do better walking into a, a situ social situation after a drink or some something that relaxes their crack? Yeah. I, well, how many people? Uh, yeah. I mean, what is the, how high is that percentage? Yeah. It's so there's a form of human instinct. You say these, the Asperger's uh, uh, come up with frustration basically every day about, about being accepted. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I think I'm venturing into that's in human nature already. Yeah, definitely. Right. That's the, that, the, there's, there are people that we call kleptomaniacs, but we all know what it feels like to want to steal something. Um, there are people that we uh, that we call stutterers, but we've all been tongue-tied. Uh, so, you, a character like Abed, or a, you know, so like yeah, we the thing that they represent is the part of us. All of us feel like weirdos. We all are kept in line by our terror of uh, uh, being outcast. Um, it's the it's the it's the force that that pushes us together. We, we don't want to be that last person like left out in the rain. Like, well, we, we know we'll die. 